Hey, what's going on there, everyone? <clears throat> okay. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's some clouds in the sky. And remember my last video when I told you that uh, I didn't want to take a chance that one time. So I took the truck. Well, today is the day we're going to take that chance and we'll see. Are we going to get bit by the rain cloud or are we going to make it there nice and dry? We will see. See the ground is kind of damp right now because the rain cloud just came and dropped some rain but not, not too much. You can already see it's kind of drying up. So, judging by the rest of the sky, I mean, there's some clouds over there dropping some some rain down, but, you know, we'll see. See what happens. Sometimes it's worth the risk, you know? Didn't get a chance to get on the bike all weekend. And then, uh, oh, that one I'm worried about. Well, anyway, yeah, so all weekend, been off the bike and then uh, doing projects. And then, I kind of want to save gas too. So, you know, I got one uh, 400 cc cylinder in this bike, thumping up and down. Doesn't take much gas to get to school versus the bike, I mean the truck of course. That one luckily is a four cylinder, saves on gas. <clears throat> In my experience with vehicles, um, you know, my I, I've driven the V8s and V6s and the four cylinders, and I even uh, had a three cylinder car, and then on the bike. Uh, to me, in my experience, um, the four cylinder does the job. I mean, as a you know, daily driver, or at least here in Guam, I've I've driven uh, the four cylinders in the states too, and it did the job pretty well. The one advantage that the V8 has, though, is it has the reserve power. You know, case the just in case. I think the V6 is a good compromise, especially now with the uh, better fuel economy with the new V8s that are coming out. I think they're much better. I had a Toyota Tundra that was really horrible on gas. I mean, holy mac, really bad. And here's a little bit of that rain, but it's not much. I don't know how the camera looks right now. It's probably got some raindrops on it, which I'll wipe away here in a second. But, uh, for the most part, it's just a few drops. Nothing, nothing major. Okay, let me just get up to speed real quick and then I'll wipe the lens off. Hopefully that did it. There's a couple more raindrops hitting me. 
those of you guys making videos, isn't that kind of irritating? That one drop that gets on the camera lens and just sometimes ruins a shot. Ah, every time I take off, I feel another drop. So let's just try and clear out of this. Hopefully you guys aren't seeing it. Anyway, let's get back to what I was talking about. Um, with vehicles. For when I was driving the V8 uh, company truck, it didn't really matter to me because it was company gas. <laughs> you know? It didn't really bother me. It just whenever it ran out of fuel, just took it to the gas station and put some more fuel. It didn't bother me at all. But right now, don't have that option, so I gotta be practical and economical with my uh choices so with going to school as much as possible I like to take the bike a couple reasons though I like to film with you guys and talk about stuff and then uh, secondly is saving gas tires mileage you know Plus, I enjoy taking a bike, you know. It's a double positive there. But yeah, you know, if I guess it all depends on uh, what your situation is. Some guys don't mind the uh, spending the money on gas for their big engines. And, you know, what's really kind of irritating is right now, they said that majority of the gasoline in the states is under two dollars a gallon well right now here on guam it's still above three it's like three and a half so man if i was paying less than two dollars it really wouldn't matter to me at that point but it being up at over three dollars it's kind of hits you hard in the pocket you know but yeah i mean four cylinder it, to me it all depends on the gear ratio um i've had a lifted toyota rig 37 inch tires and I had it geared down with some 529s and you really didn't feel the lack of power there with the four cylinder I think what really matters though is um, where I really felt the difference with, with the engines was going on the freeway. Having to get from zero to 75 on the on-ramp. That's where I kind of wish I had that extra power. You know, just to be safe. We had a guy, you know, nobody follows 75 or 65, whatever it is. They're all like going 85 to up to 90. So if you're coming down that on-ramp at 45, you got a guy just bearing down on you right away. Sometimes it's not safe, you know? But here in the little tiny island of Guam, a lot of people are into the four cylinders, save gas. Goes a little bit easier in the pocketbook. You know what I wish could be on the road, man? Four wheelers or side by sides. 
That would be awesome. I still don't understand why they can't let four-wheelers on the road. I mean, maybe there's something there that I don't know about, but, you know, I'm not an expert. But I just wish it, it, uh, they could be on the road. Especially for a place here like Guam, and it's, it's kind of practical, you know? Maybe make a rule where you can't go on the highway. I know some guys are laughing right now. They're like, Guam has a highway. Yeah, we got, you know, we got, we got a highway. We got traffic. Hey, sometimes we got really bad traffic too. There's a lot of cars here in this tiny island, let me tell you. <coughs> That's another reason why I like taking a bike too. Cut around, weave around traffic. Man, I could get around a lot of traffic on this bike. No, lane splitting is not legal, but, you know, maybe one day we might get a senator who's ridden in California and they want to pass lane splitting. That'll be cool. Yep, I remember sitting in traffic in the 405. I mean, just gridlock. And see all these bikes just zooming down. I'm like, oh man, that's not fair. But, you know, they're the smart ones. They're, they opted to go on a bike and they got around this real quick. And so, dummies like us who needed to be in a car had to stay in traffic. Anyway, if you guys are recognized, this is our cutoff point. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe. Keep watching. Please like my videos. If you want to see anything, hear anything, uh, just leave a comment and we'll try and get it done for you guys. Anyway, thanks again. Peace out.